Hello everyone, welcome to my second video. My name is Michael, I'm a local from the Netherlands and uh, I'm doing an unboxing of the second scavenger box, Gold. Now as you can see, the box is already opened. Something went wrong, I forgot to press on the on button on my video, so I already took some stuff out and uh, we're gonna have to do it again. So, um, for a few items, we're just gonna talk about it. What I've seen already, it's an amazing box. For people who do not know what the scavenger box concept is, Epic Armory has some second quality, third quality products, some forgotten items who went out of their uh, product range, or some overstock items and put them into a box. So they have the bronze box, the silver box, and the gold box, and the gold box along for longer weapons. Um, in this case, the gold box is 210 euros. So the value in here should be a lot bigger, but you do not know what you get. So some of you may wonder, you just got a gold box, why did you order one again? Well, the first box I ordered, maybe you've seen the video, or you should go and watch. Um, it was really random. I had female armor, I had a really small size helmet, got a tunic for me, but um, yeah, if you do not tell them in the description which I ordered, what's your size, what's your shoe size, what's your gender, they'll just put lots of stuff in it. So I had a great box last time. Lots of friends will be very happy with the stuff which is in it. Uh, some stuff for my kids who love, really cool, some really cool stuff for me. So uh, for this box, I, I just gave the description as I just told you. And um, yeah, let's have a look if they can actually um, look into their warehouse and pick some items in the right size. So I uh, already opened the box carefully and some things I found I want to show you. So the first item I found in the box was a pirate shirt, which is really, really nice. Um, it's also called the pirate shirt, so that's easy to find in desert beige in the size medium. So it looks really nice. Has these cuffs, which you can actually make a little bit tighter around your arms. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. Shirt. So, which uh, the one of the first thing I saw was plate armor. Look at this plate armor. It's a shorter piece. Very nice. It has quite a big dent in it right here. I'm not sure. That's how it should be, or if it's um, second or third quality. Uh, one of the rivets here is a little bit loose, but still that's okay because I can just tighten it and uh, put, replace it for a different rivet. Um, as I uh, talked also in the last video, some of the second and third quality items may have some fabric uh, imperfections, may have rivets, rivets who have been rusting or other uh, items, uh, you can just replace or fix. And then again, if you do one or two laps, maybe have some bad weather, your, your uh, equipment might look even worse. So yeah, it still has the new buckle from the Epic Armory, which I used for just a few years. So it's quite a new product. Haven't seen it, but uh, I like the black. So the next item in the box fits nicely. With the shoulder piece is this soldier torso. I think it's more of their basic series because of their buckles. Just the basic buckles as you can see here. Um, I already took the plastic off, not really as good as I should. I'll always do that later. Um, yeah, looks good. It's my size, so that I am very happy with. A cool plate armor piece with a shoulder piece so maybe i find some more in black or plate or i have to maybe buy some stuff from the website to complete my set and have a really cool armor piece so next thing in the box this is really cool it's the hood elven ears red medium so as i try on most things. Let's try this one on. Let's see how it looks. Look at that. Nice pointy hat with the ears. They feel really realistic. It's like well, my kids have the elven ears. 
for themselves from Epic Armoury and it's like the same kind of fabric as you can see here really good detail I like the hand stitching look nice dark red color yeah I really like it my kids will love it I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it to work but uh, cool next item in the box is another hat so we're still to the part where I had to forgot to put on my camera a little nice hat for me colder days the cape and the cap builder desert beige extra large nice little hat maybe one of those overstock items not sure that's a nice double lining looks very very neat so in the last box the last item from the gold box i had before i had this really nice armor piece i already told you one of my friends would probably love that have been looking at it and it was in black which is of course really nice i'm more of a, a brown leather kind of guy and uh, then i find this in my box it's the same thing also the rivets are a little bit a little bit rusty or corrosion on it really really nice as you can see that is looking very cool very sturdy high quality leather multiple straps to keep it in place that is awesome very awesome the shoulder armor brown in medium as it said look at this product so if we look at value I already have a plate torso so there might be uh, a back uh, plate in it too I haven't seen that yet wasn't that far a uh, shoulder piece some cool hats a shirt and a leather armor piece so my 210 euros in value are already here because this is also about 80 euros I'm not sure with the best plate but that's still going to be around uh, 100 euros I think so shoulder piece let's see what's inside next nice ogre collar I have a cape from this collar which I like oh, not a cape it's a cloak actually it was in their sale just a few weeks ago I paid about 10 euros for a uh, cloak which was a really nice price so this is the pens extra large or it's basic pens i know them because my son has has two different colors of this pens so this this might fight fit me or one of my friends yeah it's a good color nice fabric basic so you have to put some extra items on it now as you can see i like that color Next on in the box is the Elven Tunic Blue Extra Small. So I already have a really cool kids hat. Extra small might fit my son. And that is very, very nice. As you can see here, some really nice details along the side. Nice color. Looks like a quality product. Epic Armory, extra small. It doesn't say any second quality. It might be, or it might be just an overstock product, extra small. Yeah, that is nice. So, next in the box. Last time I had this weapon holder for a traveling weapon, a little one, a black one, you might remember. Uh, I didn't find any weapons in here, didn't expect much because of the long box. Um, but what I see here is a little throwing axe. No markings on it, no labels on it. What I see here on the top, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bit of silver paint from the axe on the wood part. There's a little bit of a dent right here. So, yeah, that's no problem. This is gonna be cool. 
like it. Next one, in the box. So I've given my size, I've given my gender, but also given my shoe size. And how happy am I that I did that? Because look at this, a full leather boot in size 43. So my size is 43, 44. So this might fit me very, very well. It's a large boot. Very happy there are two inside, so of course. But the nice little pointy, a little bit later medieval fashion style. And what I really like, because I already have some in character boots, um, which were uh, full leather, and they also had a leather sole, uh, which looked, of course, really nice with the nails in it. I loved it. I was like, wow, this is going to be so cool. First time I stepped on that wet grass, first time I stepped in the mud, it was like ski skiing, ruining my costume because they were so smooth. And these soles, you have a rubber sole. It might be a little bit less in character as the leather ones, but I would always go personally for rubber after my experience with the first shoes that were more of a Viking style. So these are really nice for different kinds of costumes with the sole itself. That's really nice. Yeah. So nice pair of shoes and to combine that with the armor. Look at these. That is just looking really, really nice. It's the Sabatons in large, extra large. Really nice, high quality leather fabric. Nice, smaller buckles, so they won't go in the way. And a little leather flap, so it won't damage your shoes. That is nice. Did not expect something like this to be in a box. Something I would not buy myself if I see them on the website. Mostly because of the price, I think I think they're quite expensive, but now they're in the box. So yeah, I have some polished steel armor and these will fit just perfectly. That is so nice. Yeah, good quality. Might be second or third quality, I have to just take my time, check all the rivets, check the steel if I have to touch up some, some rust. But for now, they just look solid to me. Next up in the box. So steel armor, very nice. Last time I had some amazing female armor. The red with the with the brown looked really nice, size medium. One of my friends who was already here, she already fitted on. It looked really cool. And now I find this in the box. Open this up. It's the armor packs. Looks a bit Roman style leather armor. Lots of straps on the back. And this leather quality is like really sturdy. There are some, maybe some color imperfections, little imperfections in the leather. Maybe some, some color changes also. So this could very well be a second or third quality item. But then again, if you step onto this field with this item, it already looks like you had some battles before. So I like this better than the new one. Yeah. And of course, because it's in my scavenger box, this is just wow. Oh yeah. Just already getting full in here. I got a lot of value here. And I have to find a place for it. So next up, some cool stuff here. This is the fencing shirt size six to 10 years old. So I would almost think that Garmin has seen my last video and they will have some kids or just a coincidence. That is so nice. Look at this. Well, three musketeer style kind of shirt. Nice little details here. 
again nice little adjustments at the arms epic black yes. my son or daughter will be very happy with that and the next item it's a bit dusty so uh, maybe one of those forgotten items in the in the warehouse doesn't seem to have a lock on the bag i think i have an idea what it could be let's just open it up sturdy leather again got this i can't even that is a nice spoon could be made by our local blacksmith Nice little fork. And a very nice knife. So a nice set, spoon, fork, knife, in a leather pouch. I can imagine it's in here because of the, the lock itself. Put this in, as you can see here. Doesn't have a lock on it, but that's easily made. A little piece of bone, piece of wood in here, maybe a little cord so you can lose it. A belt loop, some medieval cutlery. That is nice. So, next item in there's still a lot of stuff in here is the dress isabel dry it green now we've seen this product before in my last video i also had an isabel dress that was extra extra large the size of this dress is a size small like and this is just it's an overdress it has the detachable arms um really nice velvet look how nice it's some two colors Nicely fixed for colder nights. You will be very happy with this one. Just put this away from the oily armor so I won't get damaged. So, next in the box is again some steel armor, some plate armor. Second piece in here. Let's have a look. Maybe just one. One leg armor piece. Of course, with the scavenger box. Maybe one lost product in the magazine in the warehouse went into my box. It has the new buckles. It looks. It looks really solid. Nice leather. Good rivets on the inside to keep it in place. Yeah. This looks a little bit like the newer kind of armor they bring out. Which already has more of them multicolor. As you can see here. Let's get on into the box. The next piece in the box is what I was hoping for. As I told you, I had the front plate armor right here, and I hoped I had the back one too. Get this plastic off. Look at this back black. So, combining these together, that will make a very nice armor piece. Also, very happy this is in the box. Otherwise, I had to order that to make it complete. I'll just fix it with some straps on the back, maybe. So, last pieces in the box. Whoa. That is nice. I've seen this on another video. Uh, at 
the moment that you have the Garmin website, they posted a video for a uh, scavenger box uh, unboxing. And um, the guy doing the unboxing video also had this piece in his video. So that is some awesome, awesome leather armor. Yeah. Ha! It's going to make me. That's making me very, very happy. And what I saw in the box is the last item is off. It's perfectly the one I just showed you. Because this seems to be the same series of armor. I cannot believe this all in the gold box. Look at this armor. I just found my favorite armor, I think. It is so nice. The box is completely empty. There's nothing more inside. Just put it on the side. And just this one, this last piece just makes everything complete. So the scavenger box goal. I really like the first one. As you could see in the video, but now they actually taken taken into consideration my sizes. I just can't believe this is in the box. I mean, it's a 210 euro value. Uh, well, not the value, uh, a 210 euro box. And this value is like beyond what I have seen. This is well beyond a thousand euros. Of course, it's second, third quality. You might replace with it, put away some rust. Uh, don't know what to get if you don't have any kits you have a lot of small sizes but for me this box yeah i'm really really happy um so we're at the end of the video um let me know in the um in the comments below what you think what you like to see uh we'll be doing some more um uh, reviews and some more unboxings from the epic armory and other brands in the future um so this is it for now like and subscribe and log on.